I wasn't even near the sailor who got killed. He shouldn't have done the unloading. That was wrong of the sailors, but I didn't kill him. Maybe one blow, just to show I wasn't stupid, you know, just to show I was with the lads. Even if I wasn't, but I didn't kill him. And of course, they took five at random, sir. And I was among the five, and they found the cudgel, but I just used that to look good, that's all. You're going to die, Walter. Tonight. It'll be quick, and thankfully there'll be hardly any mess. Look at me. You've given me nothing my whole life. <laughs> nothing that counts. You forget what I've seen tonight, Mother. I've seen you make a vulgar, disgusting fool of yourself in your own home. And on top of that, humiliate yourself before a boy half your age. I know, eventually I'll catch up. Because covering the smell of genetic failure with designer NBA toilet water just won't do. People always know. Wait, no, don't take offense. You don't go to the gym. As a result, you're a little husky in your clothes. They look a little sloppy. Your appearance, as you know, is everything. A man who doesn't care about his appearance must feel like he's got something to fall back on. I've always assumed the way you hold yourself that you're swinging. It isn't that you loved him, no. You only love them loving you. <laughs> and your so-called passion and temperament is false. Your, your whole existence is degenerated into an endless empty craving for admiration and flattery. And you say you've done no harm to anyone. Father used to be a clever man, with a strong will and a capacity for enjoying almost anything, and now he's nothing. One, the death of the Covey's only child, Daniel, Samuel's illness, disappearance of Cat and the downturn in the farm's productivity, all occurred in March this year. Two, Judith is attempting to be friendly with me, but is clearly afraid. Despite this, she challenged my presence here and nearly asked me to leave. An usually brave woman, or desperate one. And if I hadn't been on the docks on that day, May 23rd, 1785, do you remember it, sir? Shadwell Dock. If we hadn't left, then nothing would have happened. I wouldn't have become a coal heaver on Shadwell Dock and been there on May 23rd when they weren't paying us because we refused to unload. You're not happy. You're never happy. You're fighting all the time to keep your youth and your looks as though they mattered in the end. You're not young or beautiful. I'm seeing for the first time now just how ugly you are. It's horrible. With your silly fair hair and your face all blasted and painted. What you do? What would you have done, sir? I wouldn't have been in that situation, Freeman. Yeah. Cool.